Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the four step problem Max Nutrition. So in this problem we are trying to be more healthy. So thus I have decided to eat only fruits. Okay, so we have lot of fruits of different types but uh, we get word of a specific fruit type very quickly. So we will never repeat two types of that we eat. So we will eat at most one fruit of each type. Okay, so some of and fruits. We have we have and fruits and the ith fruit of being type ai and providing one nutrition of bi okay so some fruits are rotten so bi can be negative so we need to find the maximum possible sum of nutrition values of the fruits that we can eat under the constraint of never repeating fruits okay so that is the main condition we can't eat same fruit twice so note that we can choose to eat no fruits as well which would give you a zero nutrition okay so like we can skip the fruit right so let's see some example okay so in this case we have one and one and the value is 10 so we have two fruits that are that is of type one each and we have the value 10 and 5 so like like we can each uh, we can eat only one fruit so we'll eat of higher nutrition so like first fruit will give higher nutrition so we'll eat that and discard this one so our answer will be 10 years right so let's see one more example so we have um, second example that is 2 1 so this fruit has 10 value and this has 5 value so we have two fruits of each of different types one is of one type and another is of two type so and that is the value of 10 and 5 so we can eat both fruits so that will give us 15 right so let's see one more example these are very simple examples so let's see this example third one so we have one one two two three three right so it has 10, it has 20, it has minus 10, it has 10 and minus 10, minus 10. Okay, now you need to decide what you want to eat. Understood? You need to decide this. So like you have two fruits of one type. Two fruits of two type, two fruits of three type. Okay, so in that case, what will you choose? The one which have higher nutrition. That means for the type one category, we have this higher category. So twenty, we get twenty nutrition. In the second case, one has minus ten, another has ten. So what will do? We'll do second. We'll choose second. So we'll add that. And for third category, we have both minus ten. And we don't want to lose energy. We want maximum energy, maximum nutrition. So we will not eat this one. So our answer will be 30 here. And in third case, the type is same. Like we can eat only one fruit here. But all has negative value. So we will skip that. Answer will be zero. So there will be two approaches for solving this question. Okay. Let's discuss the approach. So what we can what we can do we can create a map okay map that will be of int int comma vector of int right vector of int so what we will do we will iterate from i equal to 0 to i less than n and what we will do we can do mp of this a of i the first vector dot push back push back this b of i okay then what you need to do you just need to declare your answer variable at zero and what you need to do you need to do this thing like you just you just 
iterate to a loop for auto i for auto i i in empty this is map and you just need to sort this vector i dot second you just need to sort this vector i dot second you need to sort and the last value you got you will check if it is greater than zero the last value of this vector okay if that is greater than zero you will add into the into this answer otherwise you will skip that okay so this is one approach and there is another approach that is a better approach for here so okay so we'll remove this so what is that approach mm, remove this vector so instead of vector we will have int comma int so for each fruit type we will keep the maximum value so what we will do we will check if this if this if a of i mm, yeah if a of i if a of i is present in map it's in map if it is in map then what we will do we will update mp of a of i sorry a of i equal to the maximum of this value mp of a of i okay comma b of i you will update this if if it is not in map you will just keep the simple value mp of i equal to mp of a of i equal to b of i right and then you just need to iterate through this map okay for i in map and you just need to check if this i dot second if this i dot second is greater than zero you just need to add in the answer okay so that will give you a result Hope you understood the solution. Like this video, subscribe the channel. Thank you and keep coding.